I've had a couple of friends ask for, you know, how to use the Infantino Mai Tai Carrier. This is the one that we use. So I'm going to actually show you how to put it on and tie it today so we can get you guys properly baby carrying and pop properly baby wearing. That way there's no issues of, oh hey, my baby's not secure in this or whatever it may be. So I have a little guy. He is four months old and this base is just a little bit too big for him. So what we do is we actually put a hair tie, and I'll show you that here, in and over everything. Steal the, one of the hair ties out of my hair. So I just kind of take everything and get the hair tie nice and secure. Takes a little bit to slip it down, but it does help in the long run for smaller babies um, it's just gonna be a trial and error to see if your baby's big enough um, so we're gonna go ahead and show you how to tie it now that you see it makes the base a little bit more narrow for my son so this is the bottom it has all of the little instructions on it and I take the bottom and I just place it on my waist like so and then I take it and I tie a double knot. You always want to tie double knots. It's safest for the baby and it's going to keep it nice and secure on you. So there is the double knot here. And then I always, just to help get things started, I always take a strap and put it over. That way it creates like a little pouch. And then I'm going to grab my little guy here. This is my little guy. Say hi, buddy. Hi. And he is going to just face inwards. And I always kind of hold him at his butt. And then slip him in. And then lift this up. And then put the other one over my shoulder. And I'm always holding him. So then I grab the one that I already placed over my shoulder. And then the other one. So you can see it makes a crisscross on your back. And then you kind of just pull until it's comfortable on you. And then once it's comfortable, you take one under the leg and then the other under the leg. So it creates another seat. And then you just cross those back. And then there's these little, I don't know if you can see them on here, there's these little loops. We have found that if we loop it back through the loop, like so, like this, it keeps it a little bit more pressure off of his leg, which he prefers. Um, when baby carrying and using a Mai Tai like this, you never want to go over the baby's back because if they do slip, it could cause back problems later on in life or it could definitely injure your baby. So now that we have these through the loops, you can pull it and make it a little bit snugger and tighter. Your baby always needs to be where you can kiss their forehead. It's secure and safe that way. And then once these are tied, they're not tied, but once they're looped and you have your nice little extra seat, you take it and I always go to the top of the other knot just so you're able to always know how to untie which one first. And of course you want to tie this as tight as comfortable, as tight as you can as long as it's still comfortable and you want to double knot it again. Double knot is going to be the most secure form and the most secure way to wear your baby. So as soon as I get the other double knot, so there's the other double knot, and now you can see the two knots. This is for the bottom, this is for the top, and now if one knot were to come undone, he would still be secure and safe. So here is 
the Mai Tai. And you can see he is just nice, secured, snug, and now I'll be able to get house chores done. Makes grocery shopping a lot easier. Um, this d carrier does come with a hood, so wearing them outside is great. It clips on right here on these little clips, and then it clips up on your straps. Um, definitely, if you're going to use the hood, always make sure baby's not suffocating. And here's your video on how to tie the Mai Tai. Thank you.